Hey folks, I'm rebuilding another International Harvester Type F4 Magneto and I'm going to charge the magnet. Here's the horseshoe magnet. Now I have a compass here and it's showing true north. Now on International Magnetos, the IHC, I don't want to get too close because I don't want to magnetize my phone, but that IHC stamp on there is north always on an international mag but on another mag that may not have that on there you just put that in there see it's showing true north so i'll show you this magnet's a little bit weak it's i wish i had a better way to show how strong it is before and after charging but it's not bad to pull off of this plate. But, so, true north is the IHC. North on my magnet charger. Hooked to a 6-volt battery that is fully charged. There, it's set on there. We're hooked up. Now let's see. <clears throat> it's definitely stronger. I always charge them anyway, even if they do feel sort of strong. It's so easy to do with this old charger. It's called, uh, it's from Allen Electric Equipment Company from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Made in USA. I don't know how old it is, but it's old, and it works great. So, we're off to the next step of doing the points, condenser, maybe a coil. We're going to do a test first and see how bad it is. But uh, this condenser looks crusty. And uh, when they're crusty, it usually means that they've had some moisture at them, and condensers do not like moisture. So, the rest of the magneto looks really good, and uh, we'll go at that later. Thanks for watching.